PSA, healthy habits don't only exist at 5 a.m. This is an early morning routine video and spoiler alert, I'm not gonna tell you to get up at the crack of dawn or that you have to make your bed. What's up my free and powerful friends? I'm Magnify Maggie, this is Venkman, if you've not met him before. We're here to help you think different in order to drink different or never again, so make sure you subscribe. Today we're going over three things that you should build your mornings around no matter what time you have to get up or if you happen to sleep in, that's okay. So let's get right into it. All right, here's tip number one for your morning routine. I want you to embrace an attitude of love. And I know that can sound a little hokey dokey woo woo, but consider the days that you have that you might think, oh, I woke out of, I got out of bed on the wrong foot. I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Those are typically the days that if you backtrack, the first thing that you thought about when you woke up was something that you're dreading, something that you are anticipating a lot of angst and even exhaustion from. So start your day by thinking about the things you love. Now, if you're in a place in your life where you don't have a lot of positives, maybe from your work or from uh, the place you live, things like that don't seem to be going well, think on a more simple level. The things you love, like your animals, your family, the fact that you woke up for another day and that today could be the day that everything changes. If you anticipate things to be dreadful and anxiety ridden, your mind is gonna act like a scent detecting dog searching for things to be anxiety ridden about. And to piggyback with tip one, I want to make sure that when you're thinking about the things you love, you're actually applying that attitude to some of the things that you are anticipating anxiety with. So start to shift your expectations of maybe the conversation you're supposed to have with your boss to where you expect success. We as adults typically use our imaginations in the wrong direction. So all morning we're thinking about how the conversation will go wrong, how this interaction is gonna go awry, but instead give energy to the imagination side of things going right. How could I envision this going correctly and smoothly? And how could I see myself walking out of my boss's office with a little skip in my step because it was actually a really productive conversation. So not just entering your day with love in your heart and in your mind, but also expecting success and shifting from that anxiety and dreadful frequency and vibe to one of just expecting things to turn out really well. All right, my next tip is for anybody that loves to listen to music in the mornings, I wanna make sure that you are actually listening to the right type of music or taking the next pro step and actually swapping your music for something that's a motivational podcast, maybe an educational lecture audio, Audible and YouTube these days. I mean, the information world is at our fingertips. So use the time while you're showering, while you're eating breakfast, while you're driving to work to listen to things that get your mind turning in the right direction, looking for opportunities. You're gonna feel this with the music or the audios that you're listening to. If you have these moments of inspiration, like oh, I could do this today, I could do that today. And you're going to literally feel in your body how your mind is shifting you on a higher frequency and a higher frequency. And what we know through literal physics is that when our bodies are operating on high frequencies, good things just happen. Most of us call it luck, but it's because you are physically operating at a high frequency and attracting to you the things that will make you as happy as you are now. All right, my third tip does take a little bit more preparation and perhaps waking up at a certain time, but that's gonna be your mindset walk. Now, science shows us that putting our bodies through physical stress in the morning will help us handle literal mental stress throughout the day so even a brisk walk in the morning will help you get in the winning vibrations for the rest of your day. They say that before 10 a.m., if you can get out, that's gonna help regulate your circadian rhythm and also instill the right happy hormones through your body so that stress just seems like less than important. You literally come up with creative solutions off the cuff and you don't let it get to you as much. I've been going on mindset morning walks for the past 10 years and I can't 
tell you the amount of benefits that I've gotten. It's become so routine that if I don't have my mindset walk in the morning, I can feel it in my own energy levels, but also my mental stress levels throughout the day. So start small here. Again, if you can get out, get sun in your eyes, that's gonna help you wake up and be in a good mood, but it's also gonna help reset your sleep rhythm. It's gonna help those happy hormones going. So maybe starting off with a goal of a 15 minute outdoor walk. I know some, some places that you guys are living, it's really cold, so just bundle up, get some winter gear because you don't want seasonal depression to be taking its toll on you. Get outside, get in the sun no matter what day it is and you will feel better. All right, those were my favorite three tips for the morning routine, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a little bonus here. As a health coach, as a personal trainer and a nutritionist, I am gonna tell you to make sure when you are done with your mindset walk that you get inside and you eat a high protein breakfast. Having your blood sugar regulated and stabilized for your morning and your early afternoon is gonna keep you from making irrational, impulsive decisions and even help boost your mood entirely. Not to mention the fact that you're actually fueling your body, this mechanism that you're living in. I mean, the list goes on. Do not skip breakfast. You want that as part of your routine. And if you're just starting to implement breakfast, then start small, blend up some protein powder in your coffee, go ahead and have a ready to drink collagen drink. You can check out my other video too for some five breakfast swaps to just start small here. All right, so we're gonna recap. Make sure that you wake up and you immediately put your mind on something that you love, something that you're excited about and expect success. Number two, get positive vibes going through audios, whether that's high vibe music or educational motivational podcasts and audiobooks. Number three, get outside, get steps, get sun in your eyes and on your skin for your happy hormones as well as your sleep regulation. And then that bonus tip, don't skip breakfast. You need to be in a good mood for everything to embrace success this day. So go out, get after it. I hope you enjoyed these three morning routine tips. And that's all for today. Make sure you tune in for the nighttime routine video and every other video that we upload every Sunday and Thursday. We're here to help you think different in order to drink different or never again. Say bye, Vanky. Oh, he's not happy. <laughs> Thank you.